Hello Year 8 and welcome to the series of video tutorials that are going to um, guide you in using Photoshop to make your skateboard collages. So this is going to be a series, so um, look on Canvas for um, these videos. They'll be labelled in order of the kind of tools that you need and the processes you need to make the skateboard. Um, but feel free to stop at any time, go back. Uh, you can do this at your own pace, which is a good... Um, a good uh, way of doing it. Um, all right, so the first thing we're going to need to do is find images to put on our collage. And we're also going to have to make a folder to put them in. So can we all start off by, on our desktop, creating a new folder. And we'll write our name. And we'll write skateboard images. So in this folder is where I'm going to be putting all of my... Um, all of my images. So we want good size images. So let's go to Google. And we're going to find images that relate to our skateboard. So, you know, some people had a kind of landscape in the background. Some people had a beach. Um, so it's just a matter of finding what your the images are in your um, skateboard and finding images online that look similar. So I'm going to do Australian landscape and what we want to do we want to have good quality images so when we go to the images section all of these are different sizes and we don't know how big they are precisely so what we're going to do to get a good size image is go to settings advanced search and on the image size section we're going to choose bigger than 1024 by 1000 and uh, by 768. So we're going to click on that and then hit advanced search. And what that does is now all of these um, images are actually the right size or they're big enough to use um, well. So I like a couple of these and we're going to be doing a series of skateboards so keep in mind you're collecting a lot of images here probably I'd recommend 40 to 50. So I like the look of that it's a bit dreamy so I'm going to save that image um, on to my desktop and actually no I'm not and do you know why because the format here is a Google uh, web page image and they are no good for using so let's get back I did like the look of this one though if we save that one to HTML text, see we don't want that either. So what we're looking for is um, JPEGs or another similar file type. So if we go to advanced search, I'm just going to see if there is a... Alright, so we're going to go to type of image and write photo. And we're going to search again. Alright. So here we go, we found a JPEG. So just keep in mind that you're looking for a JPEG. So we're going to save that and then I'm going to put that into my folder. So, you know, another thing I might do is I might have a some animals, some characters. So go crazy with this. And the, the weirder and wackier it is, the better, I think. Um... So, as I said, about 40 to 50 images that we're going to um, uh, collect and then use in a, in a number of works. So, I like a couple of these. And I might have a giraffe-themed one. And I'm going to, you know, put a giraffe in, you know, the Australian Outback. It's a bit weird. It's a bit something like Reg Mombasa might do. So I might collect a series of giraffe images. All 
Okay, so that's that, that's it. The other thing I want you to do is go to the, the uh, Canvas page and there's a module called Skateboard Photoshop Work. Um, you know, get Adobe um, Photoshop if you haven't got it already. But the page under it is called Skateboard Template Download. So I want you to also download that and put that file in your folder as well. So we're putting all the files we're going to use for our skateboard in here. All right, so guys, that's it for this tutorial, showing you how to save proper size images and set up a folder and download the skateboard template. The next one's going to be focusing on Photoshop. So keep an eye out for that one.